Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today as you can see from the title and the thumbnail we're gonna be doing something pretty damn awesome now I am really excited for this but uh, honestly I did just record this video and the recording corrupted and so if you are some sort of youtuber or something and you are recording Clash of Clans gameplay Clash Royale gameplay or any sort of gameplay and you are recording with some sort of software besides reflected to then let me know down below in the comment section because I've been having so many difficulties with this software lately and it is so annoying for me and for you guys and it's just frustrating me so much so I do not know what to do and I don't know any other software so again if you are any sort of youtuber and you do know any recording software let me know down below in the comment section that would be absolutely appreciated but with that being said let's get ourselves into this video so as you can see from the title and the thumbnail we are going to be doing the donation attack strategy now what this attack strategy is is it's not really a recommended strategy it is only pretty much the YouTube units you are going to be donating to your clan mates so if we do go into the clan profile let's go into youtube general so as you can see if we do scroll down you will see lewis the pen he was our uh, leader just a few months ago and he's got 17,000 donations in only about uh, five days or so i think that is pretty damn impressive you guys and if we do scroll a little further down you will see i've only got 152 donations so that is really embarrassing so i created these sort of units right here to start donating to my clan mates members but then I came up with this idea to do the donation attack strategy for a video and so why not I mean this is going to be so much fun we've got giants we've got balloons we've got wizards we've got pekkas we've got all sorts of units and our king and queen obviously with a few spells so with that being said let's get ourselves into a few friendly challenges and see what sort of damage we can do to these bases Okay, you guys, so by the way, Hellhound is going to help us out right here. So he is going to be challenging different bases. I think he's got two bases up for challenge. So he's going to put up those two bases for us, and we're going to tag those two bases and see on what base we can do the most amount of damage. So let's have a look. When is Hellhound going to say something? By the way, let me just show you his profile. Where is he? So Hellhound, Hellhound, where are you? There you are. So here he is. He is currently in the Silver League. He is a Town Hall 10. I've been knowing him for a while now. He's a pretty fun person. Person. So 1,350 trophies. Let's see, did he challenge? So yes, he did. Let's go the base. So this is the first base you got. So let's just attack it before anyone else does attack it. So there we go. We are getting ourselves into this attack. So what we're gonna do right here is we are going to drop a single hog rider over on this side of the base to lure out the clan castle because I already know that the clan castle is going to be lured. We do need another hog rider to lure out every single one of those balloons. So there we go. Gonna drop in a single giant over on the top side of the base on this Christmas tree. I think that may be the 2014. Christmas tree, not 100% sure though. So let's have a look. What sort of damage can we do? So the giant is going to die in just a few seconds. Balloons are going to be lured out to the outside of the base though, so that is good. So the giant is therefore distracting. We're gonna have to drop in the archer queen, so we are going to also drop in another giant to distract those balloons because otherwise the balloons are going to do way too much damage to my uh, arch queen. So we're gonna drop in the rest of our wizards, like so seven wizards in a nice spreaded order. Now we are going to drop in our king in just a few moments actually our Pekka first and then our King right now okay there we go that's gonna work out let's drop in our King our two rest of our Giants then the three Hawk Riders and then we're gonna drop in our Earth Coast Force so there we go where is our Archer Queen is she still alive I've got no clue where she currently is gonna have to drop in those uh, balloons right now there we go with the Haste Ball and we're gonna drop in another balloon and now we are going to drop in a Baby Dragon over on this side where's our Arch Queen I've got no clue where our Arch Queen oh, oh my god okay so there she is let's drop in a Red Spell why not you guys we have to drop in a heat spell over on these balloons because why not the arch queen is on the health oh my god the king as well okay so we did get that king ability that's awesome now the first time i did this attack in the first video which i do not currently have because the recording did corrupt i did get a 95 percent two star on this base and that was pretty damn impressive but it looks like we're not even going to be getting the uh, high 60 percent i guess we may be getting the 60 percent but it doesn't look like we're going to get the three star you guys so we do still have our arch queen alive don't think we have to pop that 
queen ability quad yet. Let's drop in a uh, baby dragon over on this side. So we are still having an eye on the archer queen. That expert is doing a ton of damage. Gonna have to pop that queen ability right now. Okay, there we go. That was perfect. Archer queen going to do a little more damage. So we did get a 73% on this base. Not quite the 95% uh, we got last time. Because last time the archer queen was the final unit alive in the base. And now let's have a look. Can the pekka take that archer tower down? Yes, she can. 80% on this base. So honestly, you guys, we did get a very high percentage again on this base. So that's pretty awesome to see. 82% on this base. If we do let this attack go to the end, I think we will be getting something like an 88%, something like that maybe. Let's have a look, baby dragon over here. Are these baby minions, baby, no, not baby. These are lava hops. No, they're not going to be able to take down that storage, but we've got a 87% two store. That's pretty damn awesome for a donation attack strategy, you guys. So now let's have a look at another attack. We're going to have to attack this real quick before anyone else it does attack that base. So this is the exact same base, you guys. And now what we're going to do is we are just going to go into this base from a different angle. We're going to go in from this side, and I don't know how this is going to work. I think this may not work out that well, and this time we're not even going to bother learning out the clan castle. So that's going to be way more interesting. Interesting. So let's do this like so. So we're going to drop in the golem and then the seven wizards in behind like so. That is going to work out perfectly. Let's drop in the five four golems over on the cannon and on the arch tower, I guess. Let's have a look. Should we drop in a heal spot on the hawk riders? I'm going to do that. So why not? The hawk riders are going to stay alive for just a little bit. Now we're going to drop in the pekka like so. There we go. Perfect. Going to drop in king, queen. Let's drop in the lava hounds uh, over on this side of the base, actually. So there we go. The balloons are going in right now with the haste spot, obviously. Let's drop in the two baby dragons. Let's drop in a raid spot on these balloons because why not? Let's drop in the four earth so it's gonna have to raise that king. Now, I do have an eye on the queen, by the way, you guys, so do not worry about that. And now this is not working out that well like in the previous attack, but that is fine, you guys. This is all just for fun. Uh, I was thinking about dropping a heal spot on the lava hound, but that's not gonna help me out in any sort of case. So let's drop in the five giants. I forgot about those. So the king is very low on health, but I mean I can't really do anything about that. Gonna drop that heal spot on the balloons because why not we don't really have any other units we do have our king still alive you guys wow okay so the king is going to die now by that arch queen gonna have to pop that queen ability in just a few seconds because this freaking expo is being so annoying right now but the arch queen is going to manage to take down that dark elixir storage and then most likely the clan castle let's pop that queen ability right now 57 percent so yes as we already predicted from the very beginning of this attack we didn't get a higher percentage on this base but that is fine you guys queen is going to die right now there we go 59% on this base victory yes two star okay so that's pretty awesome now I want to attack a different base though so let me just tell um, Hellhound real quick and I will be back in just a few seconds Okay, so here we go, you guys. We have another different base, so we're going to attack this for a final time. I think this may even be the final attack on this base. Maybe the final one. Maybe we're going to do one more after this attack. Not quite sure. We're going to just have to check on the time on how long the video is. With that being said, you guys, let's drop in the two Hog Riders to lure out the Clan Castle. So that's going to work out, hopefully. And yes, there we go. So he does have three balloons and a dragon in the Clan Castle. That is a lot of units, to be honest. Um, I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to take them out. I know they were in the previous attacks as well but I'm not quite sure if that's going to work out as well so we're gonna just have to wait and see how this attack goes so the dragon is doing uh he's doing a ton of damage to our uh, what is it to our giant gonna have to drop that queen and actually I'm going to start dropping my giants like so because I want the dragon to keep targeting those giants let's drop in another giant and uh, oh my god okay so these balloons are doing a ton of damage going to have to drop that golem over here hopefully the balloons do be target on the golem no that's not the case but that is fine you guys our queen is going to stay alive but did you see how much damage a single balloon does on our arch queen with literally just a single hit i mean that is hilarious that is so much damage done to our queen but just a single freaking balloon drop thing i guess so well let's drop in our two lava hounds like so gonna drop in a haste spot on our balloons why not let's drop in a raid spot over on these balloons so many balloons in the center let's drop in a heal spot as well why not gonna drop in those uh, four earth heal spells gonna pop that king ability queen is still alive i do have an eye on her so that is okay oh my god okay go oh my god okay i was so so clutch on that queen ability i don't know i was literally just saying i do have an eye on her but i really didn't have an eye on her let's drop in a heal spot over on these units pick up barbarian king balloons lava pups all of these units gonna get healed up for a final time 
up to 47%, not really too much damage done, we're gonna have to drop in a single balloon over on this Archer Tower, can we take this Archer Tower down, I'm not quite sure, maybe, maybe not, let's see, can you drop a single one, oh, no you can't, okay, so our Barbarian King, he is still alive, our Arch Queen is dead, but our King is still alive, so that's interesting, and our Pekka is also still alive, not too much health, I don't think so, so we're gonna have to wait and see until a defense targets the Pekka, oh my god, the Pekka is at full health, we may be able to get this Town Hall, maybe, if no other defense does target our uh, Pekka, so yes, that is the case, you guys, no other defense is targeting our Pekka, so that is pretty damn awesome, up to 60%, you guys, this is awesome, we're gonna get the Town Hall in 3, 2, 1, BAM, there we go, you guys, excellent 2 star, 62% on this base, which is fun, this was the second best attack in this attack strategy video, I guess, so there we go, the Pekka is going to fall, can it get the wall down before it does die, oh my god, okay, so the wall went down and the Pekka went down at the exact same time, 62% 2 star, you guys, Let's return back to base, and again, you guys, I think this is going to be the end of this video, but again, I do want to get a huge, huge, huge shout out to Hellhound. Let's just go down below and find him. So, where are you, Heli? Where are you? Here you are. So, let's go into his profile. Let's visit his base, actually. So, this is his base, as you just saw from the attacks, and he is uh, farming with goblins and hog riders. So that is very interesting, Hell. I'm not quite sure what you're doing there, but uh, it's up to you, obviously. So, you know how you're farming, and he's level 125. Really nice guy, you guys. I, I would give him a shout out in any social media, but he doesn't really want a shout out. All he wanted was a shout out on his Clash of Clans profile. So there you go, Hellhound. This is the shout out you're getting. Hellhound, hashtag L U Q Q. No, sorry, hashtag L U Q O O 8 R O. That is his hashtag. If you do want to send him a friend request, then please be sure to send him one. You can see I'm already friends with him, so that's pretty awesome, you guys. And uh, yeah, with that being said, you guys, let's return back to base and move on to the comment question of the day. Alright you guys, so moving on to the common question of the day, this is a question that is pretty much, it has been asked to me a few times and I just want to explain this real quick. So this comes to us from Ruhal Kanth, I'm quite sure that was wrongly pronounced but I am really sorry if I did pronounce it wrongly but I'm just going to read the common question of the day. So it says, when will you bring your main account to Ramus? Then there were some responses to this comment, so some people did respond to this and saying he's not going to bring it. And and honestly, I won't be bringing my account back to Ramus. I mean, my main account, the account you are seeing on your screen right now. I'm not going to be bringing that account to Ramus. Let me, now, let me just show you what Ramus is. So, Ramus is this clan right here. This is our clan with uh, sort of like my main account, which is right here, and Trophy, my Town Hall 4 account. And people have been asking me to bring my main account to this clan. But honestly, I am so happy in YouTube general, you guys. It is literally the best clan I have ever been in in my entire life. And I'm not just saying this because General Tony is in here. I mean, General Tony isn't online almost never, ever. He only is online, and if he is online, he's going to be online for about two minutes, so you really don't talk to him at all. Uh, but it is sort of like, it, I, I don't know, I really love the activity in this clan. I love that you just request for troops, and your clan castle does get filled in just a few seconds. Let me just prove this to you right now. So let me just elite a single balloon, and actually, oh my god, I should have requested for a lava hound, because I do need a hound now. So let me just request for any right now, and you will see someone is going to donate something. It's going to be really quick. I promise you guys, anyone got money. So there we go already. Lewis, he just donated a balloon. This just goes to show how active this clan is. If we do go to the top of the chat, the top, top, top of the chat is seven minutes ago, you guys. Seven freaking minutes. I mean, that is insane. The activity in this clan, it is mad. It is amazing. I really love this. And this is why I'm not going to ever bring my account to Ramis. For the case that I do get kicked from this clan, which is highly unlikely, I do hope I do stay in this clan then I will bring my account to Ramus but with that being said I think this should answer this common question of the day and I think I'm gonna end the video so if you did enjoy this and you would like to see more donation attacks then please be sure to leave a like on this video and also let me know down below in the common question your, what your common question of the day is and it may be featured in a future video and with that being said you guys if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos and with all that being said you guys my name is of course Sasha and I'll see you next time peace out